Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Tia with Tia and the Beasleys. I'll have my introduction video linked at the top here as well as in the description box below. You're welcome to look at that video after you watch this video here. But today for day five of the 12 days of Christmas, we are a little bit behind in the days. I've been having some problems with my editing system and there's been a lot going on with the kids and their different activities and Maya has a dance recital and so we're just doing so many different things that we're running around trying to keep up. Anyway, so for today for day five, we're going to be making presents for Maya's teacher and then Araya's teachers at the daycare and then we're going to make some snowman donuts for Maya's class for Christmas. So let's get started. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is just a jar or however many jars you're going to be making. A hot glue gun. I always have some extra glue just in case. Some little tags to tag them at the very end. Some buttons. Some string. Some pretzels. I got these pretzels too, just as more like filler because I didn't know that I would have enough and I couldn't find white chocolate pretzels to save my life. So I had to find these plastic or these individual bags, but I'm hoping that it will do the same sort of thing. So that should be all that you need for this project. So let's get started. So the first thing that I did was just separate the buttons and got three buttons of the same size five times. So I put them in sets of three just so I made sure that I had enough of the correct size. And then I put all the other buttons away and then I started gluing the buttons on the jar. I was constantly dropping that glue gun. It would fall every time I'd put it down. So once I glued all three buttons to the jar, you just want to make it look like it's almost like a snowman because that's the idea. So I just glued the three buttons down on one side of the jar and continued on with the other four jars. So then once I got done gluing all the buttons, I just started to fill the jars with the pretzels. I can see why in the example that I found they used just all white pretzels because the idea is obviously that it's a snowman and so you wanted the all white pretzels. The Reese's pretzels really didn't make much of a difference. I think they still turned out really well, but I could see why you would want to use just the regular white pretzels for the idea of it being a snowman. So then the next step, I just went through and cut out some string. I did four strings per jar, just in like a big batch to make it almost look like a scarf. So I just went through and cut out somewhat the same size string for the jars. I would do four and then I would tie it to the jar and then I would go on to do the next 
four for the next year. And then here you can see me just tagging it. I found it easiest to tie it to the scarf before I put it on the jar. The first one that I did, I did tie the scarf on and then try to label it and it just made it a little bit more complicated. So after I learned my lesson, I tied the label or the name tag to the scarf before I tied it to the jar, which made it a little bit easier to kind of maneuver around. One after the other, I'm knocking at the door. There everybody's welcome, the rich and the poor. That yarn was giving me a run for my money and it was making me very frustrated and it was giving me a hard time. So if any of you have any recommendations on an easier way to get the yarn out of the roll, I would love for you to comment below because I was really struggling. project of our snowman jars they turned out really cute in my opinion next time I will definitely I made them for both of Araya's teachers Maya's teacher and then the office girls at the date let's call him frosty he'll be our friend so next we're just gonna make these snowman donuts for Maya's class for this, you'll just need some sandwich bags. I got these at the dollar store. Some sticks, I think they're cake pop sticks. Treat sticks. Uh, I got these at Michael's. You'll just need two markers, an orange and a black, and then some donuts. The picture that I saw actually used donut holes, not the donut themselves but I got the donuts so I hope that it worked and for the most part it did it cracked a little bit you can see here but I'm hoping that they won't all do that so let's get started so the first thing that I did was just take the donuts and put them in the bag in threes and that was just to make it in a shape of a snowman. Everyone wants home for Christmas. And then here we are with the string giving me a hard time again. So I decided that rather than fighting with it, I would cut them all out first. So I cut out 20 strings just to make sure that I had enough for the snowmen and that way I didn't have to battle with the string every single time. So once I got the string on my side, I then started to assemble the snowman. I put three donuts in a bag in the shape of a snowman, and then I cut a little hole at the bottom of the bag with some scissors, stuck the cake pop stick through that, and then through the donuts, and then I went ahead and tied the bags closed with the string. I would have used a different string and will the next time, maybe a cuter string or a better looking string. I just don't really like how they turned out with the string, 
but I just tied them, kind of made them as perfect as I could, cut the string a little bit, and then I went ahead and drew eyes, nose, and buttons on it with permanent marker, and they turned out pretty cute. Next time, I will definitely use donut holes and not the regular donuts because the regular donuts broke a lot just because there was a hole in the middle of them so they weren't as strong and sturdy so next time I will definitely be using donut holes saying hi to every friendly face and later we warm up by the fireplace carolers are singing outside our door lovely songs we all heard before as they walk And why I'm working on the last one, I just want to say a couple things that I probably would have done different with these art projects. For the pretzel snowmans, I would definitely use all white pretzels next time. I also think I want to use a different ribbon because that one didn't look really that pretty. And then these snowmen, like I said before, I'll use donut holes next time and maybe a prettier ribbon. But I think both turned out great. All right guys, well that will conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on the snowman jars as well as the snowman donuts that we made for Maya's class. It was a lot of fun. I would have liked to have Maya helping, but she's been sick with um, a nasty cold the last couple days. So I figured it was best if I just did it so that we weren't sharing her germs with her teachers and the bus driver and everybody we made presents for and then of course her class. So I ended up just doing it, um, but I'm very happy that I did and we have it all completed and I hope that everybody enjoys it. So if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and we will talk to you tomorrow for day six. Bye guys. Christmas is right.